Hi there, it's Kevin Ward with Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping real estate agents get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And today's video is about the most powerful, most revolutionary real estate concept I have ever seen in well over 15 years of selling real estate, and I call it the real estate vortex. And I've been coaching and teaching this now for over a year. It's already beginning to just create a revolution in a way a lot of real estate agents are doing business at extremely rapid growth and extremely high levels of creating business where we're talking about in, in one to two years being able to do 100, 200, 300 deals a year and putting it into a, into a fail-proof, fast-track model that virtually anybody can do. And so I'm just going to lay it out for you today is what does the real estate vortex look like? What is it? How does it work? And how can you implement it in your business? And out of this, I've actually developed what I call the real estate vortex training camp that uh, either at the end of this video or another video that you'll see that I'll actually get, tell you a little bit about the real estate vortex training camp and what all it's going to do and, and uh, so forth. But here was just a recent study, a recent survey by the National Association of Realtors. When they surveyed uh, buyers and sellers, they found out that 88% of buyers and sellers said they would use the same real estate agent again. But then when they interviewed those who had just down done a second transaction, what they found out was only 12% of all people who had used a real estate agent before used the same agent again. Now think about that for a minute. 88% of all buyers and sellers said, yeah, I'd use the same agent again. And yet the reality is that only 12% ended up using the same agent again. Where's the disconnect? Well, what dawned on me was there is a massive disconnect and that is that you're a real estate agent, you sell houses, you help people buy houses and when they want to buy or sell, they need an agent but they don't connect the dots. Because why? Because it's not in their mind. It's not something that they're thinking about. And so out of all of that, out of that sense of just absolute frustration and, and, and having some aha moments of my own and realizing how where a lot of my business had come from, I realized that there was a way that you could create a system and a very simple model that would allow you to leverage your relationships, to leverage your connections and to create massive amounts of business that's very profitable with very low resistance and with a, a minimal amount of effort. Now, I'm not going to say you don't have to work hard. I'm just going to say compared to the traditional way a lot of agents do business where you're out, you're prospecting all day and you're hammering, the, pounding the pavements and you're door knocking and you're cold calling and all of that kind of stuff. I'm like, there's got to be a better way. I was good at it. I built my business on for sale by owners and expires and I loved it. But it was brutal. It was hard work. It's kind of like manual labor. And as I did that over years and years, I realized, shouldn't there be something to show for all of that? And out of that, I created what I called the real estate vortex. And from my own, uh, from my own lessons that I've learned and more than anything else, probably from the mistakes that I've made. So I want to talk about what, is, what makes the real estate vortex powerful. And it's about building relationships with people. And I'm going to share with you four light bulbs four ahas that have just come on for me that have just completely changed the way I looked at real estate and the way I coach real estate agents who are now taking their businesses to very, very high levels very, very quickly. Now, here's how you get people to do business with you. Let's just start ta by talking about how do you get people to give you business or do business with you. Well, there's four, There's literally a four-step process that has to happen. Now, this goes in a little more depth, but I just kind of want to give you an overview of how this works. The first thing you've got to do with people, when you, want to, when you take somebody and you're prospecting, whether it's a referral, somebody you already know, somebody you don't know, uh, prospecting, cold calling, whatever it is, the first thing you've got to do is the first step is connecting. You've got to connect with people. That's your first step. You got to connect with people. The second step is once you've made the connection with somebody, the next step is you've got to position yourself as their go-to realtor. Okay, so the first thing is I got to connect with them. They've got to know me. They've got to kind of like me. They've got to, there's got to be a sense of a connection there. And then before, the, if, they don't, if they don't know me, if they don't like you, they're not even going to set an appointment with you. So the first thing you got to do is connect with them. If you don't connect, you don't, if you don't, if you talk to somebody and you don't get contact information, you're not connected. Okay, the second thing is once you connect with them now, I've got to position myself 
as their go-to realtor, which means I've got, to now gener I've got to now nurture that liking and nurture that trusting, where that I become their go-to agent. Now that's the key here. In fact, I teach, uh, and you may have seen me talk about this, is you wanna go from being a realtor to being my realtor. That they don't talk about, yeah, I know a realtor, I know a lot of realtors, look, but I have my realtor. You need to talk to my realtor. I'm gonna call my realtor. You wanna go from being a realtor to being my realtor. And I want you just to think about that. What does that mean? Okay, going from a realtor to being my realtor. It represents that you position yourself as their go-to agent. So that not only when they need to buy or sell are they gonna use you, but when they know somebody and they hear of somebody that's looking to buy or sell, the automatic response you wanna be is, you need to talk to my agent. That's the response you're looking for. And I'm gonna show you in a second how you, how you do that. Then the third thing is, you go from somebody who you've met, you've made the connection with them, you've positioned yourself as their go-to agent, and now they are ready to make a decision. So the third thing you've gotta get good at doing and learn how to do is what I call inspire the hire. Now, in traditional, real, in traditional real estate sales language, you call it close the sale, close the deal, close for the signature, close for the listing. And close, and one of the things I teach is the words have energy, right? Word, don't you, wouldn't you agree that words have energy? Okay, and the energy of the word close is not positive, it's not, inner, it's not powerful. Okay, it's forceful, it represents ending stuff, closing just feels painful. Okay, so instead of closing the sale, why not open the relationship? Okay, I learned that from a friend of mine, Nierka, who wrote a book called Supreme Influence. It's off the charts book on, on understanding how you influence people and understanding the language of influence. And she said, I don't, I don't talk about closing the sale, I talk about opening the relationship. Or how about this, how about instead of closing the deal, how about inspire the hire? Instead of me closing on them, I'm inspiring them. This is called making it easy. This is called lowering resistance. I'm inspiring them. Basically, you've got to take the lead and you've got to convert them into a client. You've got to get them inspired to make the commitment to work with you and allow you to represent them in selling their home or in buying their home. And then once you inspire the hire, once you get the client now, is the next thing is you've got to deliver results, which means you've got to serve them. And you serve them, you perform as, a, as their fiduciary, you deliver great customer service, and most important, the bottom line of service is giving them great results. Okay, you gotta respect them, which comes through all of this building that relationship, and then you gotta be able to deliver the results and knowing how to do that. So that's the process of literally how you find clients, how you convert clients, and then at the end of that, you, at, you end up with a profit, right? You make money. However, here's the, here's the problem that, that came with that. And this is what happened my whole, the first four years I did real estate, I realized this is what was happening over, is I would go out and I would prospect. Well, you're gonna see here's the vortex, here's you, and up here are all the prospects in the world, okay? All the prospects in the world, and so I went after turbo leads. Now turbo leads represent for sale by owners, expireds, notice of defaults, distressed sellers, uh, probate, uh, estate, real estate, all of that, is turbo leads are people that have either expressed a need or a, uh, expressed or demonstrated a need or a desire to sell their property. And I went after them like crazy and I loved it, I was great at it, and I did that. A lot of people will use open house. I teach how to do an open house event that actually gets you real sellers and helps you make a lot of money. Um, and then there's what I call trickle lead generation, which is all the other mo models of going out most mo uh, marketing, social media, internet lead generation, uh, traditional print advertising, mailers, geographic farming, and all of that. I call trickle lead generation. It's not, it's not bad or good, it's just that it tends to be slower response. It tends to not happen as fast. And this is uh, a lead generation form where you're talking to people you don't know or you're reaching out to people you don't know. And so here's what I discovered happening for real estate agents all over North America. When I saw that statistic, 88% of sellers and buyers said, I'll use the same, I would use the same agent again, and only 12% did. And I realized here's the reason, is here you are in the center of the vortex, and what happens is, is when you start in real estate, what do they teach you to do? Prospect, 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 and you go on and you start prospecting. Well, most of us either don't know a lot of people or we're afraid to talk to the people we know, right? I know, I know. 
And if we do, or we, we may tell them we're all in real estate, but then we don't stay in touch with them, we don't talk to them very often, and if we do, it's just a handful of them, and really we don't leverage those relationships. So we spend most of our days trying to find a way through marketing, through social media, through uh, cold calling and prospecting, through doing open houses, whatever it is, networking events, we try to go out and we try to find people that are gonna buy and sell. We run ad ads in newspapers, we put ourselves in the yellow pages, or we get our website, and uh, we, we create a, a fan page on our uh, youth, on uh, Facebook. I couldn't even remember what it's called, Facebook. That's, that's, that's shocking. <laughs> and we're constantly going out there and we're trying to grab the business. Now that's the way most of us have been taught to do real estate, and that's the way I did it. But here's the thing. The whole concept of the real estate vortex is once you create a vortex, a vortex is, is, a, is a flowing, circular, energy force, uh, energy pull that draws stuff into it. But it only draws things into it, it only draws business to you once it's in the vortex. The real reality is most of the business we go after is we go after business that's outside of our vortex, mainly because we don't have a vortex. Or if we do, it's a very tiny vortex. And it's kind of like the little vortex in your bathtub drain. You know, it's cute and it, it's a real vortex, just not a whole lot of pull, okay? So I'm gonna teach you how to build a huge real estate vortex that literally can help you do in 100, 200, 300 or more deals a year very, very fast. So what I found is ha happening was, is here I am, and I was literally, I'm gonna just use this red, because red represents energy. As I was literally going out and reaching, I was having to reach all the way up, out, always to people I didn't know, and try to capture and grab people that I didn't know, that I didn't have a relationship with, like expireds who didn't want to talk to me, and for sale by owners who didn't want to talk to me, and connect with them, position myself as a real estate agent that could help them get a result, inspire them to hire me and then serve them and you can do that and it's a great way to build your business but here's the problem here was the disconnect is that i would do the business i would serve them i would connect with them i would position myself as a go-to agent convince them to hire me i would inspire the hire i'd serve them i'd get their home sold and as they came through my vortex, they literally just shot out the bottom. I captured a paycheck on the way out and boom, they were gone out of my life forever. <laughs> okay. Have you had any clients like that? You close the deal and you never talk to them again. Honestly, how many of you have had that happen? Well, it happens over and over again across every real estate transaction across North America and the world is that kind of thing happens over and over. So that was happening. People come to an open house, you meet them, you get their contact information, you follow up with them on Monday and they've either got another agent or they're still looking or whatever and then we never talk to them again and they just fall on. We don't make any money off them. They just kind of ran through the vortex and out on the other side or we never even connected with them. They walked in, they walked out, boom, we got nothing. Trickle lead generation. We, put, we started doing geographic farming and it's slow and we don't really connect with people because ever you know maybe you're mailing out to a thousand people and maybe you're getting two or three deals a year off that or maybe ten deals a year but the key is is there's not much relationship off that and so it was just kind of you finally capture one goes through and yes I got a deal I got a listing and it goes through great and awesome and then now I've got to start over now I'm gonna tell you one of the biggest things that I was taught in real estate that nearly killed me and it was the concept of, I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. I think this is where it belongs. No, I'm going to put it up here at the top. And it's the concept of starting over at, I can't even write, starting over at zero. And that's what I was trained. I was trained that you got to understand real estate. Every day you got no business. Every day you got to treat it like you're starting over at zero. And I did that with a vengeance. I started every day, I started at zero. I had no leads, no business, and I was out there and I was constantly hammering to find somebody else. And I would, grab a, I, would, I would grab a lead, I would connect with them, position myself, inspire them to hire me, serve them and make money, and boom, I gotta now start over at zero, right? Because that's gone, I gotta start over at zero. Now what I'm gonna tell you is that that whole concept is self-defeating because it's, tr you're tr it's transactional. You work one time, you get paid one time, and that's the end of it. And you don't have to live your real estate business that way. You can create a vortex that will literally, every time you close a deal, it will multiply and expand your business, not make you start over at zero. So I want you right now, if you've ever heard that or been taught that, is to completely eliminate that thought from your brain because it doesn't serve you. 
Okay. Now I understand why they taught that. What they wanted you to know is when you get a deal, don't think you got it made. You got to continue to do the things that get you business. You got to continue to service business. But starting over at zero just seems like it's a, it's a, it's a broke way of thinking. It's, hey, look, it's the way most people live financially. You start over at month, every month at zero, right? And you work, 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 you get paid and then you spend it. And if all goes well, you won't run out of money before you run out of, you, you won't run out of month before you run out of money, right? But you, you're always starting over at zero. Well, and then I realized, wait a second, there are people out there who own real estate, they're real estate investors and they have cash flow. And every month they don't, whether they work or not, they're not starting over at zero, they're starting over with cash flow. I'm like, why not do that with, clients why not do that with people why not do that with relationships and it was like whoa so what's missing well one is the understanding of how it works and two is the 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 formula or the ingredients the core elements for building that kind of a business so I want to share with you real quickly what the five core elements of building a massive one two 100 200 300 deal a year business that you can literally run that at a very highly profitable level without having a massively huge team. Now you're gonna need a team to support you once you're doing 100, 200, 300 deals a year, but you're not gonna to have to have a team of 20, okay? You're gonna be able to have a very profitable team where you're the, you're, you are the energy core. You're the center of the vortex. You're the energy core of the vortex. So there are five core elements of mastery and those five core elements of mastery actually in anything not just in real estate but in anything is five core elements of mastery and the first part is you is you you are the first core element of mastery and I just I'll call it your mindset it's the way you think now the biggest challenge here with people with real estate agents is is that our mindset is either we think small we think fear and so forth so when we talk about building your mindset one of the things that I teach agents to do is how to build a bulletproof mindset a mindset of confidence a mindset of energy and enthusiasm a mindset of abundance and not broke thinking a mindset of thinking big because think about it this way when you got in real estate you didn't get in real estate to sell real estate really you got in real estate why because you wanted to have a life because you wanted to have more income control, more time control, the ability to make more money. And even if you got into real estate kind of as by default, wasn't there somewhere in your mind this idea that you, maybe real estate is my ticket? Maybe that if I do this good enough, I can make enough money to pay for my kids' way through college, to put some money in savings, to put some money aside for retirement? Maybe. And my question is, how's that working out for you? Now, for some agents, it works out great, but for the vast majority, 95% of real estate agents, they never do real estate and get financially free. So one element of the real estate vortex is how can you create an exit strategy? So let's just, these are, I'm just throwing you a lot of stuff, but what I found was the first thing in mastery, the first part of this in building a, a massive, a massively profitable real estate vortex is one, you got to have the right mindset. You've got to get you thinking right. That's probably 90% of the value of a personal development, personal growth is not what you don't know, it's how you think. Okay, it's the way we think, it's our belief, it's our limiting beliefs, it's our story, it's our drama, it's our fears, it's our creative avoidance. Whatever it is, it all comes down to is that for you to do 200, 300 deals a year, if you don't believe it, it ain't going to happen. And as Walt, Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. The problem is most of us can't dream about doing 100 deals or 200 or 300 deals a year. There was a point where I couldn't. And as, I, as my business grew, my thinking had to grow. And so the first thing that you've got to work on is developing a huge mindset. The second thing is strategies. The second element of core, the second core element of mastery is having the right strategies. Is doing the right thing the right way to get the best results. Okay. And again, prospecting turbo leads for sold by owners and expireds. There's right ways to do it. There's wrong ways to do it. And, and even among the right ways, there's hard ways to do it. And there's powerful ways to do it. And I want to teach you how to do the powerful ways. Okay. In fact, I actually have, and, and I'm not, this isn't about this, but I actually have an FX extreme training camp coming up, the for sale by owner and expired training camp that is the, will be the most powerful training camp, uh, real estate seminar on how to massively connect and hire, uh, get business from for sale by owners and expires. Just throwing that out there. But strategies, you got to have the right strategies. And one of the right strategies, the, the wrong strategy is working harder. Okay. 
right strategies allows you to not work harder. So you gotta have the right strategy. Second is you gotta have the right skills. Okay, strategy is knowing what to do. Skills is knowing how to do it, how to execute it. Okay, so I, I use the example of an Olympic figure skater. It, there's, it's one thing to have the strategy. Well, that would be like the, the routine, the choreographed routine that they give to the figure skater and they say, okay, go out and perform this. Well, the routine is the strategy. That's the, that's what, that's the moves, that's the this pattern, and that's the jumps and all that. The skill is what it takes to win a gold medal. Okay, so you gotta have the right skills. The third thing you gotta have in business and in mastering anything is learning to leverage systems. And this probably is the biggest word on, it's not really, but it feels like the biggest word because all of this is about building systems to support this, to make this happen, is to create systems. And look, I mean, I, here's, here's the thing, and this is something that I, at the Real Estate Vortex training camp I actually do is we actually go, in, we go deep and actually you create and implement an, a fail-proof lead follow-up system, a prospecting system, a time management system that actually works, a personal circle system, which is taking all of this and creating your personal circle is actually building the Real Estate Vortex is just a series of seven systems that you implement and that run virtually automatically with you just being the captain okay you're the captain of the ship you're not you're not all the crew necessarily you're the captain of the ship and you've got the leverage you've got the steering wheel you've got the leverage because you've got systems to run you're not just not just a canoe or a rowboat where you're just doing you're just rowing okay systems is taking a rowboat and turning it into a motorboat or a sailboat where you've got the leverage of other powers and other resources other than just your yourself okay and then the final, the fifth core element of mastery is support. If you can read that, support. So one is your mindset. You've got to think rest. The way you think, the way you believe, it's your attitude, your strategies, your skills, your systems, and the right support. Support is, is having the right coaching, and the right mentorship. It's having accountability to help you. It's having masterminding with other people that are achieving at a high level so they help you get better, that you can learn from them and you can share with them. So all of that comes into place that if you want to create a business model where it literally draws business to you, leveraging relationships, learning how to connect with people, position with people, uh, position yourself as the go-to agent with people, inspire them to hire you, and so that you have the opportunity to serve them, and then not just flush them down the end, hopefully grabbing a commission check on the way by, but actually doing something better than that. Because look, what I teach is I teach people how to have the right mindset, strategy, skills, systems, and support to create a massively successful and profitable business. This is what I'm gonna be teaching at the Real Estate Vortex and I wanna share with you four light bulbs that have come on for me over the last few years as I've developed this and understood how big the opportunities are out there in real estate. The first big aha, the first big light bulb for me is understanding the power of how to build a word of mouth marketing team. Your W-O-M-M-T, that's your word of mouth marketing team. Now here's what you do. You connect with people. Okay. The biggest thing I was taught probably wrong in the way I was coached is that you, when you find a lead, if they're not going to buy or sell a house from you today, you don't ever want to talk to them again. Just chunk them, throw them away, throw them in the trash can. You don't need them. And what I realized was, is what if you took those people and you connected with them and you got a relationship going with them and they start knowing who you are, they get to like you and they get to trust you over time. And there are three big words in building a word of mouth marketing system, uh, word of mouth marketing team. Number one, they got to know you. If they don't know you, they won't use you. Number two, they got to like you. If they don't like you, they won't refer you. And number three, they've got to trust you. And if they don't trust you, they won't hire you and they won't refer you. And the thing is, is when we're out here talking to these people, when you're out prospecting people you don't know, here's the biggest challenge. They don't know you, they don't like you, they don't trust you. Okay, <laughs> I hate to break the news to you, but when you call an expired, they're not excited to hear from you. When you call up for saw by owner, they don't know who you are, they really don't like you most of the time, and they certainly don't trust you. They think you're just out for the listing, right? You've heard that before, right? So. Why not take these and figure out a way that what if I could connect with them and position myself as their go-to realtor so that when they're ready, I can inspire the hire, serve them, make money, and then I can expand that and I'll show you what happens next. So the first thing was is learn how to take everybody you meet and even more importantly that, everybody you know. Now here's, the, here's where this starts coming together. When you connect with somebody, that means you establish a relationship.
Now, the way you've heard it called is your sphere of influence. Uh, past clients obviously are in that, but your sphere of influence. And that is somebody that was, is within your, the realm of your influence. Well, I call that your personal circle. So when you connect with somebody, anybody above the dotted line here is people you don't know. You have no connection with them. You have no credibility, no leverage. But once they're below, once they're in your vortex, the further away they are, the further higher they are in it, the less pull there is. But once you get somebody in your personal circle, now you've got some sense of influence. You start having some pull. Now you understand the bigger and more powerful your vortex get becomes, the more pull you have. So as you, what if you spent more time connecting with people, positioning yourself as a go-to realtor so that inspiring the higher becomes very easy because they already know you, like you, trust you. Now, let me show you something else. Most people that know you don't know that you would like for them to find business for you. Did you know that? You're thinking, I'm afraid to call them because I don't want to bug them or think them, them to think I'm desperate and like I'm begging them for business. Look, asking people that you know to help you help people who need to buy or sell real estate is not begging and it's not bugging unless you think it is and then guess what if your mindset is I'm begging people if your mindset is I'm gonna be bugging them I'm gonna be annoying them I had an agent ask me one time I was teaching at a speaking at a seminar and she raised her hand and she said are you gonna teach us are you are you telling us uh, that we have to go out there and annoy annoy our friends and I said I'm not sure are you annoying well, no. And I said, well, then I'm not going to teach you how to, annoy, to, to go out and annoy them. They're, you're only annoying if you're annoying. But talking to people and asking them for business and saying, hey, whenever you run across somebody looking at buying or selling a house, would you call me? Well, sure. Great. So just out of curiosity, when do you think you might be ready to make a move or invest in real estate? I'm happy. I'm good. We're not, we're not doing anything right now. Okay, great. Well, anytime you need anything or when anything happens, let me know. Perfect. So who do you know right now that is thinking about it? Who have you talked to recently that's looking at buying or selling or investing in real estate that I can help? Well, I don't know of anybody, but when I think of them, I'll call you. Okay, great. Just keep your, keep your radar on and when you run a, hear, overhear a conversation or whatever, just give me a call or let them know and let me get their contact information. Give it to me and I'll call them. Wouldn't that be awesome? Great. I'll tell you what, I appreciate that so much. And guess what? People will do that all day long. Now, that's the connecting part of starting the word of mouth marketing team. So the first thing you gotta do is get them thinking. See, people don't, again, they don't connect the dots. Of they, they know somebody that's thinking about buying or selling, but they only think, oh, I know somebody buying and selling. I know, I know Jill, she's my real estate agent. See, they don't, they don't make that connection. They just think, oh, they're selling, okay, cool. And when they're talking to you, oh, how's real estate? They don't make the connection between you do real estate and they're needing a real estate agent. They don't make it. You've got to make that connection. You've got to connect the dots. Now I'm going to show you something very, very beautiful here. Here's you. Here is somebody in your personal circle. Okay. First thing, you've got to connect the dots between you and them. And that is that when they know somebody needing to buy or sell real estate, they need to call you right away. So now here is somebody out here that you don't know. They are thinking about trying it for sale by owner but they know Jill. Now you know Jill and they know Jill. They don't know you, they don't like you, they don't trust you, but they know Jill. And Jill finds out they're thinking about moving and Jill says, oh, you guys are thinking about moving? You need to talk to my realtor. And guess what just happened? Dot, 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 dot. Is you just got connected through Jill to somebody that you don't know. Now, if they had gone on and become a for sale by owner and you just prospected them, guess what? You're calling them, you're just another real estate agent that they don't know, they don't like, they don't trust. But because you have a relationship and you trained Jill to be your word of mouth marketing team, when she heard that conversation, boom, she's calling you up or texting you say, hey, I got a neighbor or down, somebody down the street that's thinking about selling their house. Let me get their number and I'll have them uh, so you can call them. Whoa! And guess what? It works. All right, now watch this. So that's your word of mouth marketing. That was the first thing that came on to because I'd always heard what's the best marketing in America? It's word of mouth marketing, right? It's the, the best marketing. Why? Because it's free. It's virtually cost nothing. It's just by establishing they, they know you, like you, and trust you. The second aha for me was Toma. 
And I learned this from my coach, James Malinchek, who is a master of marketing. And here's what he said. He said, quit spending all your money on traditional marketing. Instead, find ways to create top of mind awareness. Now, I'm going to show you. Here's what I've discovered about this whole thing is, is that when you talk to people you know and you create help and you basically enlist them to become your word of mouth marketing team. Now, look, if they don't want to do it, don't try to dance with somebody that doesn't want to dance with you. But if you're friendly and they know you like you and trust you, look, most of your friends, all you ask them to do is keep their radar on. Just keep their eyes and ears open for any conversation, anybody they run across that you can help. It's a real simple conversation, but the deal is you can't have it just one time and it's done. You create the word of mouth marketing team, but if you want to position yourself as their go-to agent, you've got to create TOMA, which stands for Top of Mind Awareness. And this is where most agents who have a big database fall through the cracks. Those, the, the, all the deals fall through the cracks is because those people aren't thinking about them. See, and what happens is when you create a word of mouth marketing team and you build top of mind awareness, you start positioning yourself as their go-to agent, you turn your database into a personal circle. And that personal circle becomes your word of mouth marketing team and that was a huge aha for me because what I do now is I teach the strategy skill systems and give you the support to help you build a system that is fail proof that will let you take every relationship and leverage it. Now here's the next step that's even better and anytime you meet somebody whether it's at an open house event whether it's through your through traditional prospecting or your trick whether it's Facebook or it's a um, somebody that you meet in your neighborhood it's geogra from geographic farming or at a networking event or just wherever at your kids soccer game that when you meet someone it's not like I'm a real estate agent here's my card if you ever need anything let me know for all your real estate needs call me they don't call you why because you haven't positioned yourself as their go-to agent and created top of mind awareness. So what do you do? I take it for so bad. Now watch this. I'll even, this is one of the most beautiful things is I heard somebody say one time that Zillow's make me moves. So are they going to be the for sale by owners of the future? No, they're not because for sale by owners actually want to sell. <laughs> make me moves actually want to get more money for their house than it's worth. Now here's what they are. They're future business. They're not immediate business most of the time. Now, there's exceptions to everything, but in general, they're future business. Well, what do you do? Well, the problem with make me moves is most of them aren't ready to hire you today because they're not motivated enough. So what we do is we, oh, well, if anything happens, call me, boom, and we talk to and we never talk to them again. But what if you said, well, I'll tell you what, sounds like right now and you're pretty happy where you are when things change. If I can help, let me know. Why don't we exchange information and just stay in touch? Now, I've got a, somebody who's not ready to sell today, but it's going to be ready to sell someday. I got an old expired. He says, ah, we're probably not going to move for a year or so, but maybe in a year, our youngest one's graduated from high school next summer and next spring, and we'll probably be moving then. Excellent. Now, the problem is traditional real estate prospecting is that's too far out to be a lead, and we just, we put them into our database, and we never talk to them again, and a year from now, we find their name, and we're like, who's that? And we never call them, or we're like, ah, it's too late, and you know, whatever, and we give up. But if you have a system and the right strategies and the skills, you take that person and all I'm going to do is say, well, hey, well, why don't we exchange information and stay in touch? And now I bring them into my real estate vortex. I bring them into my personal circle where that now I have the opportunity. I connect with them. That's the first step. But now I spend the next year positioning myself as their go-to realtor with a very simple, very powerful personal circle system that I teach at the Real Estate Vortex. I go deep in exactly putting together all the elements in place so that you're knowing how exactly when to stay in touch with them, how to stay in touch with them. Do you, know, do you use newsletters? Do you use emails? Do you use phone calls? Do you knock on their door? Do you have to take them out to lunch? Do you take them to coffee? Do you have to buy them gifts? What's the best way to build a word of mouth marketing team and create top of mind awareness without killing yourself that will allow you to do 100, 200, 300 or more deals a year. And that's with the systems that I actually teach. But you can, under, you, you can see a lot of this how this works is now I can take an old expired. Now watch, an expired, I call them. Guess what? Every other agent's calling them. They're mad. They're frustrated. Don't call me. But what if instead of trying to get an appointment with them today, let's just say they're not motivated right now. We're going to take the house off the market for six months and they really are. Not, Again, this is a different conversation, but sometimes they say they're going to take it off the market and they're really not. They're just trying to get rid of you. But let's say that's for real and they're not going to sell for right now. Well, most agents drop them. 
What if you had a system in place that you didn't have to drop them? All you do is take them a turbo lead. So I'll tell you what, let's just exchange information and stay in touch. And then you actually stay in touch. And so now you've connected with them in that first conversation while they're still frustrated. There's still 50 agents called them that day, but a month from now, nobody's calling them. Six months from now, nobody ever knew they were on the market but you've been staying in touch with them and positioning yourself every month. You've been positioning yourself and creating top of mind awareness so that now a year from now or six months from now or eight months from now or three months from now, when they're ready to put their house on the market, guess what happens? Ring, ring. Hey, Kevin, it's Mr. Smith. We t you came by our house when our house expired. Oh, Mr. Smith, how are you doing? And he knows who you are and he knows you. He likes you and trusts you because you didn't show up one day and then boom, you were gone. You built a relationship. You delivered value to him. And he learned over time to know you, like you and trust you. And you're the only real estate agent that stayed on his radar because you had a system and the right strategies to make that happen. And so what happens is you bring people into the pool of your vortex into your personal circle and it happens over and over again. Same way with people you meet at open house events. If they're not ready to buy a house today, we flush them. They walk in the door, we don't even know if they're a homeowner or not. If you had the right strategy and then you found out and you connect with them, you exchange information and then you stay in touch with them, you position yourself as their go-to agent. Look, here's the beautiful thing about this is, uh, well, let me, you know what, let me show you the first, the beautiful thing about this. And then I wanna show you the last two light bulbs that have really come on for me. But the beautiful thing about this is it works with business owners in your community. It works with your doctor and your dentist. It, what if you had a way that you could get your dentist, how would you like to become the go-to agent for your dentist? How would you like to become the go-to agent for the small business owners in your community, for the community leaders? How would you like to become the go-to agent for builders and developers? And we actually teach you the exact strategies and systems, how to position yourself so that they're calling you. So that whenever a builder has a buyer that's buying their husband has a house to sell, that that builder is calling you and saying, here, call this guy, they, they're buying a house for me and they need to sell. There's so much business out there that agents would, could, you can, that's out there for you to get if you know how to position yourself as their go-to agent. This works with for sale by owners and expires, it works with distressed sellers, it works with future buyers, it works with people you meet out in the community, people you meet in your neighborhood, it works with investors, it's great with investors, is learning how to position yourself with investors because that can be for you multiple deals. I, I, the last two years I did over 100 deals, 20 to 30 deals of those every year was with two people real estate investors, multiple deals every year. Look, they're great. I mean, cause it's a lot, it's very little work and they know you like you and trust you and they know what they're doing. It's the easiest business out there. I would, I mean, if it, it, it's a, and that's part of what I learned, part of the aha was that kind of thinking will absolutely change the way you do your business. So it works with all of that. Now here's the beauty of all this. One, you get to start having a life. Two, as you build this bigger, this becomes, re this becomes repeat and referral business. You don't have to do as much of this if you don't want to. And when you do do it, there's way less pressure because you're not desperate because you you're not starting over at zero. Remember, you're not starting over at zero because here's the, break here's, here's the breakthrough. There's two breakthroughs. The third light bulb that came on for me was after you create a real estate vortex of magnet of clients being drawn to you, of business being drawn to you, now you're going to start making more money. When you start making more money, you got to stop spending it all because it just goes right through the vortex and it's kind of like it comes into our bank account and our bank account is a vortex. It just comes through, we spend it, boom, it's gone. And I learned from guys like a mentor and friend of mine, Mike Wolf, who it was a real estate agent, Alberta, Canada. And then he started seeing people making money and getting cash flow and he started investing in real estate, started making money off of it until finally the day came when all of a sudden he was making more money passively from real estate that he didn't manage it. He had a property managers managing his real estate and he just got checks and he created passive cash flow. And so the next thing is, is as you start building your business is one of the things that I teach agents how to do is have a financial freedom plan and literally create that. In fact, at the real estate vortex training camp, part of the vortex we'll create is to help you create your own cash flow vortex so that literally in five to 10 years, you can be completely financially free. Now I'm just want you to stop right now and think about that. How many agents do that? Have you ever thought about it? You see, we think about it, but we never put into plan into, into place a date. We don't put into place a strategy. We don't execute a plan to create a cash flow vortex that will allow us to not ever have to sell real estate again after a while. 
And then what you create is that, so that was the next big aha for me. And then the fourth aha that all kind of ties this together is understanding CLV. And that is understanding a client's lifetime value. Now here is where I look back on it and I cannot tell you how many millions of dollars in the years that I was selling real estate, how many millions of dollars I lost because I didn't understand the real estate vortex and I didn't understand a client's lifetime value. I want to just kind of show you how that works. See, here's the difference between the way I did real estate my first four years. I found them, connected, positioned, inspired them to hire me, served them, sold, got a profit, boom, they were gone, never talked to them again. And I can't tell you how many people I'd run across that I had sold their house years ago, they had bought another house, I'd helped them buy another house, and then they were listed with another agent. And I'm like, why didn't you call me? Well, we didn't have your number. You didn't have my number? Are you crazy? Well, look, they don't connect the dots. I understood, I learned the client's life to have value. I learned it from a guy named Roy Thomas. Roy Thomas, Roy and Lou Thomas were some clients of mine. I met them actually calling a for sale by owner who had a vacant lot for sale. And it was their daughter. And she said, now nah, we're not selling it, we decided to keep it, but my dad and mom are selling their ranch. And it was my first time to ever be involved in a ranch transaction. And I helped Roy and Lou Thomas sell the ranch, helped them buy a house in Colleyville, Texas. Then he didn't like it, so a year later, after they went and put $200,000 into repairing and updating the house, I helped them sell that one, buy another house. His brother moved to town, helped him buy an expensive home. I helped their, his daughter and son-in-law sell a home, uh, let's see, sell a home, buy a home, and sell a home. And when I looked at that, in one, off one client that I didn't really stay in touch with, I didn't really do the positioning, I didn't, I didn't have a personal circle system to stay in touch with him, he just happened to be a guy that was loyal enough, he called me. And one client in a matter of four years was worth over $110,000 for me. And I have other ones like Adam and Christy that I counted it up and I think I got nine transactions off of that one couple. And then not to mention like Rob Howie who is an investor and Dana Malone who is an investor and they were worth you know, dozens and dozens of transactions for me because they came back to me over and over again. But what I didn't do was I, it took me so long to figure out I gotta be intentional about this because a client's lifetime value, you get a, a client that you give great service to and they like you and you cr use them as your word of mouth marketing team, which just means teach them how to, you train them to keep their eyes and ears open for real people that need a great agent buying and selling real estate and they will call you. And when you train them, what if a good one could give you one deal a year? And the reality is they can. And I'm going to show you, and, I, and you've probably already seen another training video, and when I show you the, the one week real estate vortex uh, challenge of how literally five people in one year could be worth five deals for you. Five people, five deals. Why, why couldn't you do that every week? I Meet mean, five people a week to add one person a, a day. Instead of trying to get just an appointment today, why not get an appointment today and somebody on my word of mouth marketing team? Because that one person on my word of mouth marketing team, if I have the system and the strategy and I execute it, Every time that they do a deal with me or they refer somebody to me, not only do I make a profit, but here's how a real vortex works, is it doesn't just go through and it's gone. It actually goes in the universe like this and it goes back up and they literally get recycled. Same thing with your cash vortex is I don't want it just to go, my cash to just go away, is I want my cash to create its own, to create its own vortex so that you're making money over and over and over again. And literally, if you took one person who knows on average two to three hundred people, and if you've heard me train on this before, that the average person knows two to three hundred people, one out of ten people they know is going to move every year. I mean, that's a conservative number. So that means every year, every person you know knows twenty to thirty people that are going to move this year. On average, twenty to thirty people. What would it take for you just to land in front of one of those people? And what if you had a hundred people in your vortex, a 100 person word of mouth marketing team that literally every year was worth one deal for you. Now, not everybody's going to do it, but some people can be worth two deals or four deals or five deals. You can have investors they are going to be worth 10 deals in one year if you learn the system of how to create the real estate vortex. And all of this, what I have done is created the systems. I've created the strategies, the skills, the systems, and give you the support. We do this at the Real Estate Vortex Training Camp, which I hope you'll take a look at because it will be an investment of three days of your life that when you take 
take and we'll literally put all, we'll go deep in all this, not just learning it, but actually at the event, you will create this and start the implementation process so that when you're done, you will never again be starting at zero. And literally when you leave there, you will be on a path of five to 10 years to financial freedom. That is the power of the real estate vortex.